From the mountains to the streets, lakes to the beaches, Fuel TV's weekly update with Boost Mobile gives you all the news in the action sports world. Hi again, I'm Brent Ringenbaugh. We begin with the loss of one of the brightest stars in action sports. On February 9th, FMX writer Jeremy Lusk died from severe head injuries sustained during a crash at the X Knights Costa Rica competition. He passed away in the hospital in Costa Rica with his wife Lauren, his parents, in-laws, and metal militia teammates at his bedside. He was 24 years old and at the peak of his career. Lusk was known as the pit bull, but once you got to know him, the tough exterior gave way to a lighthearted side you might not expect. To honor his memory, here's a look at what made Jeremy so unique on his bike and off. Ready? Hey, you just say this is shit. All right, I calm down. <laughs> I stared at him probably about for a week after I won them. So, but they're pretty shiny, huh? Gleaming. I'm gonna get some ice put around them. Born and raised in Southern California, Lusk started riding when he was just three years old. He went from high school straight into a construction job and enjoyed free riding in his spare time. But his skills on the bike would soon get noticed by the industry. He started riding full time and turned pro at 19. He joined the metal militia in 2006 and quickly rose through the ranks of freestyle motocross. Last year was his competitive best with a run of podium finishes including gold and silver medals at X Games 14. In his short, you know, 24 years, I can truly say that he lived the life of 10 men, you know. He traveled the world, he won medals, he, he went to the top of the sport. I'm just glad I got to share the times that I did and just have so many memories and it's cool to, I got to see him go from being this dude who was trying to get into the finals to two years later being the most consistent dude on the circuit and, and being the X Game winner and being the rider of the year. It's like he came through and just steamrolled right through the industry. I mean, this guy worked hard day in and day out. He was never deterred by a crash or an injury. Really achieved you know, some goals that you know, the average person would never ever be able to imagine. You know, all around good guy. A lot of, a lot of you guys just see you know, the bad boy image that he was, but really once you get to know him, he's pretty soft and, and a loving guy. And, Definitely a funny guy. He was definitely a guy that makes everyone laugh. Nobody could ever replace that dude's personality. His ass was just so funny. Like I know a lot of people just see him like as like the gnarly hardcore badass dude, but under all that badass dude, he's like got one of the best sits of humor that I know. Like the dude is so funny. He's just always just trying to make people happy. And he got married and was solid and his chick loved him and, and they had like the perfect relationship, you know, and I think that that fell off on me and, and everyone else, you know, and it just set a good standard. I did ask myself why, why did all this happen? God put this thing on my heart. There's the, a verse in Proverbs 3, 5, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. And that's the only thing that I can get through each day. I just go, I'm not gonna know why, no one is. It's like, but God knows why and, and in his View and big picture, this is what had, this is the way it was. And we just got to accept that and, and keep moving forward. It's hard, it's hard, it's a hard thing to do. And to say bye to one of your best friends. And I just feel like I'm in a bad dream and I'm gonna wake up next week and we're gonna go riding or go out in the hills and just hit it, you know? And definitely, it, it ain't like, we lost him for now, but we're gonna see him again, so it's all good. I feel pretty blessed and I just feel like all the hard work that I've done has pretty much paid off. Wanted to come into this and either go do it all the way or just you know not do it at all and so I'm pretty pumped that I kept my goal to myself and did that.